Well, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. I wanted to come in here and make this quick video because I just finished watching Nyad, the movie starring Annette Bedding and Jodie Foster. Um, it's on Netflix um, and I just finished watching it. I wasn't necessarily going to watch it, but I decided to watch it because um, Annette Bedding and Jodie Foster are nominated for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress this year at the Oscars. So I said, okay, I need to watch the movie. Um, so I finally, did, I just finished it today, um, like an hour ago um, and I was thinking again about how I don't know when when the nominations first came out for them, a lot of people were saying they were surprised that they were getting nominated at the Oscars and other events they get nominated at SAG and BAFTA things like that and I hadn't seen the movie yet but I was kind of thinking the same just based on the other performances that I'd seen out there and all these other movies that are getting a lot of acclaim um, so I watched it and I kind of was like great great movie great performances but I'm still kind of like okay We've got Jodie Foster in there for the Oscars over maybe someone like Penelope Cruz and Ferrari, who I thought was just outstanding. Or um, the big ones that a lot of people have been talking about, Annette Bening over like Margot Robbie or even Greta Lee. Margot Robbie from Barty, um, Greta Lee for um, Past Lives. So I was watching and I was just like, again, good movie. It's about um, Diana and Ayed who, who did the, the woman who, when she was over 60, did a swim from... Um, Cuba to Florida, to over, okay, thumbs up, took her, <laughs> took her over, like, it took her like 53, 56 hours, um, so really great story and everything like that, but I was just like, I feel like I've been thinking this week, we just had the Grammys on Sunday, I'm filming this on a Friday, um, and it's a lot of conversations about like, who kind of gets nominated for things, who gets the awards, things like that, and I think it's kind of similar to the Academy in some way, obviously Jodie Foster's won an Oscar twice, Annette Bedding's been nominated, I think now will be her fifth time. And I was kind of thinking about like how when you're kind of in, you're in and kind of it's one of those like, if you can get in here, then like we kind of, we're going to just keep having you come back and back. Even if, I'm not saying they're not deserving, but I'm still thinking like, why did they get in versus over like Margot Robbie, Greta Lee, um, Penelope Cruz, all some other performances I probably could list that I might be, would have. Anyways, those are the three big ones for me. So no, I was just thinking about that, and I was thinking again about these kind of this category. I rate the full category again for actress and supporting role this year at the Oscars: Emily Blunt, Oppenheimer, Daniel Brooks, Color Purple, America Ferrera, Barbie, Jodie Foster, Nyad, um, and Divine Joy Randolph. The holdovers. I've already said I think Divine's going to win that award. Actress in a leading role: Annette Bening, Nyad, Lily Gladstone, Killers of the Flower Moon, Sandra Hular, Anatomy of the Fall, Carrie Mulligan, Maestro, and Emma Stone. Poor things, and I've said already. I think Emma Stone's going to win that Oscar as well. So it's not like get them get Margot or Greta or someone else in there to to win. I don't think they're gonna win anyway. I think Emma Stone and Divine are just um, almost have it locked up in my eyes already. But I don't know. Just thinking. Does anyone have any thoughts on this? Is anyone still thinking about this? I know we still have another month into the Oscars. The Oscars are on March 10th, so we're getting closer. Um, but I was just thinking about it again and looking at kind of some more conversations from people. So if you have any thoughts on this, drop them below. I'll be around. Um, yeah. See you later. One thing I want to add, um, I saw that the directors of Nyad as well are the people who directed the movie um, Free Solo a couple years ago and they won an Oscar for that for Best Documentary. So that's kind of another one of those like we're in here, they know us, it's you know we're back again type thing. And those are the only two nominations they got. They only got nominations for the acting categories, just those two, nothing else. But thinking about kind of like the machine that they're with kind of getting them, helping them get in the door sometimes is a possibility, but hey, what can we do now? All right, really, goodbye.